The first couple of times that I had a hint that something was going on that wasn't right, um, I didn't want to believe it. My mom even actually said, hey, I, th I think Stella's actually having these small seizures. And I got mad at her because I thought, I don't want anything to be wrong with my child. Like, she's fine, she's fine. I must have said that 20 times, she's fine. And a uh, eight and a half minute seizure was our big clue that something was wrong. You don't really notice <laughs> how different it is until you go out to do some things and then you realize, oh, this is, the, our lives are different. We're not victims of being parents of our child, but we are enduring quite a hardship that when, when you set out to become a parent, you have no idea how hard it can be. Let me know if I can do anything, is not it, it is a good out for us to be like, oh, we're fine. You know, that, you know, poke a little harder and because there's probably something, <laughs> there's probably something you could do. <laughs> there's something that people who don't live in this world don't understand, they can't understand it. And that is the absolute perfection of our children. It was really important to me to put that out in the world, to have that energy out in the world it's kind of a constant, like, yeah. between you know you should plan for the future because his future will be different than a typical child and he'll need support and that's finances, but also balancing that with, like, will he even be here? So, um, you know, let's do things. Let's have, let him live and have experiences now while he can, in case he can't, you know, later on. I, I saw this thing. <laughs> with special needs parenting and they're like, um, either my child will die before me and I'll have to live without them or God forbid, I'll be gone before them. And then what? I miss my son. I feel like the mission of whatever that energy is has changed over time mm -hmm. and now it's much more focused on improving daily lives and, and making like measurable change in people's homes and their happiness and their connectedness um, and I want that to continue to evolve and change over time to suit the community um, but I think it's that energy. You feel that nobody understands, but in our community and our support group, everyone understands. Because so many of those conversations are about what's wrong, what's not right, what's, you know, these lists of things that are wrong. And obviously we have to talk about that, but as a foundation, that we want to be sure that we're also celebrating our children for who they are and how they are. It's so important to me for families to realize they're not alone. I had all of these people that were rooting for me, that were praying for me, that were just holding me in hugs virtually, right? I did not know they existed until the first gathering. And then it was like, wow, somebody cares about my child besides me and her doctor. <laughs>